Today on the Cyber Secure Podcast, we cover CVE 2025-43300, a zero-day vulnerability in Apple's image processing libraries actively exploited in highly sophisticated attacks. Apple has released emergency security updates for iOS, iPadOS, and multiple versions of macOS to remediate an out-of-bounds write issue that can lead to memory corruption when handling a malicious image file. If you use Apple devices, this is one vulnerability you'll want to address immediately. This flaw impacts several Apple operating environments, macOS Sonoma prior to 14.7.8, macOS Ventura before 13.7.8, macOS Sequoia below 15.6.1, iOS versions earlier than 18.6.2, iPadOS up to 17.7.10, and iPadOS 18.6.2. Apple issued software updates, Sonoma 14.7.8, Ventura 13.7.8, Sequoia 15.6.1, iOS 18.6.2, and iPadOS 17.7.10, 18.6.2 to close this critical gap across desktop and mobile platforms. CVE 2025-4300 is a memory corruption vulnerability due to an out-of-bounds write during image file processing. By feeding a specially crafted image to the system, an attacker can overwrite memory regions outside the intended buffer, enabling arbitrary code execution or denial of service conditions. Apple's image rendering component lacked proper bounds, checking on certain image metadata fields, A malicious image can trigger an out-of-bounds write, corrupting memory, and potentially executing attacker-supplied payloads. Apple has confirmed reports of targeted exploits in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific individuals, underscoring both the complexity of the exploit and the real-world risk. The vulnerability was assigned CVE 2025-43300 and patched on August 21st, 2025. If you run iOS, iPadOS, or macOS, install Apple's latest security updates without delay to close CVE 2025-43300. Regularly check for firmware updates, avoid opening suspicious images, and maintain a layered defense strategy. Staying current with patches is your first line of defense against zero-day threats and advanced targeted attacks.